Good afternoon. It's that time of day again where we uh, highlight another local business within our community. Um, I'm Rob with Ecofine Properties, and this has been a wild ride. This has been great so far. We've had numerous and numerous of, of local businesses uh, highlighting them and everything from car detailers to, you know, we had a, a singer on Friday, Larry, Larry Johnson. Um, and today we have an interesting uh, group of ladies. Uh, it is a, it's a home staging and, and interior design or decorating uh, company Life Beautifier. So I'm going to bring up uh, Suzanne, Susie, and Jessica. Everybody wave. Hey, ladies. How are we doing? Hi. Awesome. So, so I'm joined by the three ladies today. Um, so we did a video with you guys. Actually, it was from Suzanne's listing um, in, uh, where was that, Suzanne? Steeplechase. Steeplechase, uh-huh. And we walked into that house, and I'll tell you what the difference after they got done with it was night and day. It was insane. I remember the moving truck pulls up, these guys get out, they start unloading and I come back. I felt like it was an hour later. I know it wasn't an hour later and it was like <laughs> a new house. I'm like, holy crap. Uh, but I'm going to let Suzanne uh, talk to you girls and I'm going to, I'm going to get out of the way. So go ahead, Suzanne. Hi ladies. How are you? Hi. <laughs> Is everybody safe? I know it's a trying time for all of us. And I don't know if you all have young children. Jessica, you do, right? Yes. Yeah. So how, they're, how's they're that doing been? Well. They're doing well. They're doing really well with school. Um, if I had toddlers, it probably would be a whole to I'd be answering differently, maybe, but, but they're doing really well. <laughs> yeah. The whole virtual things working out. Yeah. Yeah. The technology in the beginning, um, you know, everybody trying to figure everything out and the many different computers going on in the house was uh, challenging, but we figured it out and uh, we're getting through it. Uh, do you think they want to go back to school? Definitely. They both <laughs> miss their friends and they miss being social and um, it's difficult for my kids not to have that for sure. Did we ever think that we would, the kids would say they want to go to school, right? No. <laughs> Next maybe year will be totally different though. It'll be maybe yeah. that's the silver lining. They'll say, I want to go to school. We're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> how about how about you, Susie? Uh, my kids are grown, but uh, my parents were here for the winter, so they got uh, kind of quarantined here with me. So um, it's been great to have them. They're actually going to head back to Pennsylvania on Saturday. Oh wow. So um, I'll miss them, but it has been very interesting. We've all been staying in and being safe. Are they flying or driving? Uh, my daughter is with them and she is going to drive them home. Oh, nice. Yeah. You know what? There's always a silver lining. Again, I say that, you know, you, you'll never get these times back with your parents again. No, exactly. So it, it's been, it's been really fun. Better than being alone during quarantine. That's for sure. I know. Well, I just want to, first of all, say happy anniversary. Thank you. Tell us, tell us all about your anniversary and how you got started and your beautiful name and everything else. Oh my goodness. So um, Jessica was a stay at home mom after she had a career, of course, went to college and had a career. And then she was a stay at home mom and was getting to the point where she wanted to get back into doing something for work and was talking to some realtors about doing, potentially doing some small stagings and things like that. And I decided to retire from my previous job and wanted to do something that I always had a passion for, which was decorating and staging. And Jessica and I are cousins because she's married to my cousin. And we were in the pool one afternoon and decided to talk about it. And that's how it all started. It was amazing and it's worked out so well. Well, you, you guys have such a great reputation and you've done so many amazing jobs. So I'm less from five years ago. How, how tell us how much you've grown and what's going on. <laughs> uh, we've grown quite a bit. Um, we've been very blessed that year after year, our uh, sales have has gone up every year. Um, this year might be challenging because we've been closed for six weeks. Um, we are not considered an essential business, although real estate is. Um, the company that um, we are members of, which is uh, RESA, well, I should, it's not really a company, the board, um, which is the Real Estate Staging Association, 
had put out some information that um, there wasn't really guidance and they believe that we are not considered essential. So, um, and, and not only that, but you know, we didn't want to risk any of our employees or ourselves in going into homes and things like that, especially with if we were doing one that people lived in the home. So um, we've been closed and keeping safe and um, just working on uh, some things that we can yeah. do virtual. And um, so we've been doing some poor stuff and some virtual consults and things like that. Yeah, well, tell me about your name because you know I love that story. <laughs> so Jessica and I really wanted to keep our clients for a lifetime and not just decorate their house and be done or stage their house and be done. Um, and so we wanted to be able to help them in any way that they needed to help beautify their lives. So that might be helping them uh, with a party. It might be helping them organize a closet, um, decorating an office or something like that. So we just, we didn't want to narrow ourselves to just staging or just doing decor. And we do have several clients that have stayed with us for years and bring us in on multiple different jobs that they need. Um, and, and so that's kind of why we decided Life Beautifier was a good name because our goal is to beautify their lives. Yeah, so they can move on to something else. That's, I remember you telling me that. It just, it was like an aha moment for me. It was like, this is, you know, for, for my career being in real estate and being able to help someone move to the next stage that they're going for and bring you yeah. in and allowing them to actually go on and do what they want to do and, and beautify their life. So I just thought that was beautiful. And we keep using that name beautiful. So <laughs> <laughs> well, that meant a lot to me. And I know it means a lot to your other clients. So um, I think that's pretty awesome. So um, tell us, tell us more. I know you guys have your own furniture. How do you, how do you do it from beginning to end? Because it's just a well-oiled machine. That's incredible. Well, we it decided, really I'm going to let Jessica answer that. <laughs> we decided in the beginning that we didn't want to do what a lot of other staging companies do. And we wanted to have our own inventory. We wanted to be able to have many different looks. We wanted to be able to stage to the roots of the home and not just, um, you know, do one or two different styles. So we decided that we were going to buy our furniture and that we weren't going to pay ourselves in the beginning and that we were going to build up our inventory in our warehouse. Um, and we were able to do that. And we've been blessed that we've been able to do that. Um, and so we're able to give many different looks. We're able to go into a home and, and do transitional, modern. We love coastal chic. That's one of our favorites. Um, there's also traditional coastal. There's so many different looks that we can kind of work into the home and to the roots of the home. So, um, and um, our business has continued to grow and we have a great team. We're blessed to have a really good team right now. So. Well, I think Rob's showing one of uh, the house that I had right behind him. It's uh, pretty incredible. You gotta unmute yourself, Rob. Let me get out of the way. You don't wanna see me. Here's, here, here's, here's their work. Yeah, show some of their before and after. It's pretty incredible. We so loved doing that house. It was so much fun. Yeah. Here's some, different, here's some different pictures if you guys can see that they sent me. Um, some of the work, I mean, I mean, just beautiful stuff. Um, Here's that video, Suzanne. Let me pull a video up. Um, you know, this just shows you before and after. Um, it's quick, but it shows you the before and after. There you ladies are. There you guys are from, from our earlier interview. Um, and then this just shows the process coming up here. There's, there's the process. Hold on. We're going to get to, we're going to, I do a little speed up version of the video here. I think it's coming up. <laughs> And you'll get to see, I mean, this is what I was talking about. They came in and they just transformed this house. It felt like within an hour, uh, beautiful. I mean, from what it was, Suzanne, right? To what it looked oh, like after night and day. Totally different. Here but... comes the moving guys. I mean, this is what they said. They pulled up in the truck and here they go. Oh, quick, 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 quick. That's how fast it felt. <laughs> That's how fast it felt. And, I don't know. I think I saw some sweat on Susie uh, throughout that day. It was a yeah. long day, wasn't it? <laughs> we were and there it, a long time and that was a big house. Yes. Uh, I guess I got a quick question for you. So, so, and I'll bring myself back on screen here. So, you know, what's the benefit 
of, and I'm sorry if I'm stealing your question, Suzanne, what's the benefit of, of transforming, you know, just a home when you're showing it from just maybe, uh, you know, a few things to, to, to putting mirrors here. What, what's the benefit of that? Well, I think, uh, I think, buying, I think buying a house is such, I mean, it's the most emotional purchase that you're going to make um, for your family. And I think going in and feeling, getting that sense of, you know, of that it's your home and or it could be your home and you could put your couch, your favorite couch there and that your dog's going to sit over here. And I mean, just, just kind of owning it um, when you walk in and you get that initial feeling is, is so important. I read a statistic today that said that 78% of expired listings are vacant, which was really telling to me because we'd like to educate our clients rather than just sell to them. So I thought that that was really um, important. I think so many people are walking into homes and they're not getting that sense of, they're not getting that emotional buy. They're not getting that home feeling um, when they don't stage it. So I think that's very important. And what are some of the trends uh, that you're seeing like, what are people going for? More lighter, the gray colors, light grays, whites, coastal. What, what's, the, what's the trends right now? Everybody wants light and bright. They um, watch HGTV, so they're expecting the home to be perfect and beautiful mm -hmm. because that's what they see on HGTV. And when they're looking through a sea of beige as they're looking on the MLS for potential houses for them to purchase, and then they see one that is light and bright and it's got some color to it, they stop and that's the house they wanna go see. So, you know, the main thing is getting that foot traffic in and then they get to the house and they just fall in love. And that's, you know, that's why our statistics are so great. This year so far, um, our average time to, for a house to go under contract after we have staged is six days. And, the wow. average sale price is 97% of list. So what we do really does work. The statistics prove it. <laughs> the, stat, the, the numbers prove it. They do. This has been a great year so far until, of course, this. But um, our houses have been selling so quickly. And you know that's why realtors call us in. And that's why we do what we do. So you mentioned something earlier, but there's something about new staging. Is that because of COVID? There's a new way of the way you'll be staging things or? Well, we're definitely going to use safety precautions when we do come back to work. Um, you know, we have gloves and masks and all those things for our employees and alcohol gel and, and everything. So we definitely want to keep everybody safe. Um, we'll probably start out doing vacant homes before we do homes that um, have people living in them. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably start out with vacants and we are offering some specials for upcoming vacant listings where we're going to do 50% off and then a third month for free. So we usually do a two month contract with our clients, but we're going to offer that third month also because we know it might be a little bit slow when, even when things, you know, get back open, it might still be a little bit slow. So we're, trying to uh, help people out that way. And you do consultations too. So you come out, yes, to mouth, which is do, most important. Yes, we can do virtual consultations as well. So either for decor or for potentially a home that is already furnished and just needs some advice to how to get it ready for market. So because we can't go into the home, we can do it virtual. Um, so I heard you also say you're giving back to the community too. Tell us what you girls are doing. Well, we've always um, tried to give back in, in lots of different ways. And we have certain charities that we work with more often than others. Um, but what we're doing currently for our clients that have homes that are staged and feel like they're you know, missing out on having people come in and look at the home because of what's going on with COVID, we have offered them some discounts on their monthly rental um, or added an additional month for free, things like that. So we have talked to every one of our clients that currently has staged uh, a staged home with us. And um, we wanted to be preemptive and let them know what we plan to do. And then we're going to take it on a month by month basis. So we did that for April. And then come May, we'll 
see how things are going, if people are starting to get out and look at homes again, or, or you know, what we might need to do to help them out. Go ahead, Rob. You had a really good question earlier. So um, I've got, I've been, I've been busy, uh, but I have some a little extra time on my hands here and there. So I'm getting around to those home projects, uh, things that I've been wanting to do for five years now, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm finally getting around to doing, uh, considering outside landscaping and things like that. Um, you know, I noticed behind Jessica, I'm looking at her wall and it's really like, I'm like, wow, that's what I want for my kitchen wall. Mm -hmm. and maybe we can go into the aspects of that later but what are some like quick tips for people and that, that they don't have to break the bank just little things that you can do right now if you're stuck at home and you're like what can I do what can I do you know painting a wall maybe I'm not sure can you guys give just a few quick tips for people out there that they may be able to do while sitting around being bored they have nothing to do well, I know with my friends, um, and we've all been talking about what we've been doing. Um, people have been painting rooms. They've, and, and just to let you know, shiplap, there's many different ways to do it. So there's definitely cheaper options. There's ways that you can do it at home. Um, um, and there's lots of, you, of help videos for that, of do it yourself videos. But um, just, you know, painting and re refreshing things, organizing a closet, organizing a drawer. I mean, there's so many little things that you can do that just make you feel so much better. I've gone through my kitchen. I know Sue's been organizing. Um, I've gone through my kids' rooms and I'm sure that's why Container Store and other stores like that are super busy right now because um, people are wanting to do those projects. But I think just freshen it up and make it you know, make it something that inspires you. If you don't like something, um, there's easy ways to change things, whether you just change out maybe a picture on a wall or the paint color or, you know, add a pretty flower, you know, there's a lot of little things you can do. I think it's, you know, I, I don't mean to make light of the situation with the coronavirus, but sometimes I think it's been a blessing too, because, and I say that in, in a sense that I've had some extra time on my hands. Uh, not a lot. I've been busy, but just new ideas and new things that, you know, my wife put together a patio set the other day. We've had our patio covered and we had a couple of chairs out there, but now we've made it a place that we can hang out outside and watch TV, relax, uh, little things. Awesome. Um, so it's, it's definitely, definitely, I'm sure you guys' minds have been going and thinking of new different creative ways to do <laughs> things. Um, Absolutely. And I think it's, I think it's important. So you've had this patio and you've just had a couple of chairs out there and now you've got a real living space. And that's really what our goal is for all of our clients is to have them live in their, their beautiful space, you know, and enjoy it because you couldn't believe how many times we hear clients say, oh, we should have done this five years ago. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we want people to enjoy the space that they live in and they shouldn't really shouldn't wait until they're ready to sell it. They should, you know, do it for themselves so we can help them decorate their home. And when they're ready to sell it, we can help them stage it. But um, it's important to enjoy the space that you're in. And you guys have, and cor correct me if I'm wrong, you have your own warehouse full of things. Is that true? Am I misrepresenting? That's, that's true. That's correct. Yes. So you have all this stuff ready available for people. Um, like I said, that day you guys pulled up, well, you didn't pull up in the truck itself. That would have been cool. <laughs> but, uh, but, but you pulled up and then the truck pulled up and, you know, the guys got out and they just started unloading all the, all the different things for Suzanne's listing. Um, it just shows all, all, all the different, I mean, Suzanne, you went through a plan with them. I mean, you had to sit there and they, and they, they were receptive and they, and you, you guys talked it through, right? What you wanted. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I would say 99.9% .9 was right on, but a couple things I would say, well, I don't know, maybe that rug is too small. I'd like, I'd like to see it bigger. They took my thoughts and my, my design ideas for the house. Yeah, no problem. Or that, you know, that, but they had two or three um, ideas. Maybe that painting over the piano didn't work. So they had another one and they, that might've been better. So, I mean, they come so prepared that it, it's not like, oh, we have to come back and finish. It's done. I mean, I sat there and drank champagne right on that couch. I think it was nine o'clock at night, right? We had pizza. Or no, right. <laughs> they're fun to work with. Um, they're organized. They're smart. They're talented. Um, it's just such a pleasure. And I'm so happy that we could have you here today. And I, I hope things pick up soon. I know things are starting to loosen up. And I, I think you're just going to go off and running into the 
Sunset 2020. <laughs> how, how, how can people that are watching this or may watch this at a later time, how can they get in touch with you guys if they're interested in staging their home or a property they have or getting, you know, some help with, uh, you know, interior uh, work, things that they'd like to see done their home? How can they get in touch with you? They can reach out to us at, uh, by email at info at lifebeautifier.com or they can call one of us. Jessica's number is 772-215-5516. And my number is 440-789-8021. And you also have a website, uh, www.lifebeautifier.com. That's correct. And they can get a free, free quote on our website. So look at that. So ladies, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming on today to talk all about your business. Uh, another local business in our community. Uh, man, I repeat the same thing every day, but it's, it's, it holds true. We need to support each other. We need to support our local businesses and support each other um, because that's the fabric of the community and that's what keeps us all together. Um, so Life Beautifier. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Susie. Thanks, Thank you. Suzanne. Thank you. Thanks, ladies. Thanks, and Rob. We'll be back at what time is it? Boy, it's 120. We'll be back at two o'clock today with another local business, Dr. Brent. No, sorry, not Brent. Brett. Brett Denkin. He's a life coach and a sports psychologist. So that should be an interesting one. We'll see what that's all about. But join us back again here at two o'clock. Uh, and ladies, thank you so much and have a wonderful afternoon. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. 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 -bye. Bye, -bye.